All right, we are going to address the complaint that we hear a lot of times. My machine is not spraying, okay? So we're gonna show you how to test that and identify what the problem is. Aside from the trigger, you've got three components. Your pump that puts out the solution, which is then indicated as flowing through the machine by this flow indicator. And then you have a solenoid valve on the bottom that opens and closes to allow the spray to exit the bottom of the machine. If you have a hose, you can test it by plugging your hose in. This is just the end of your hose. It does not come off of yours. If it does, your hose is broken. You can put it in here, turn it on if it sprays out the hose but not out the bottom more than likely you have got a frozen solenoid valve, okay? What we're gonna do is test the flow of the pump because if the pump is not putting out in an appropriate PSI, it's never gonna start going all the way down to the bottom of the machine. In order to do that, we are going to have to mimic that hose plug-in by depressing an auto load gasket right here on your small solution hose port. There is never a cap here because it is again an auto load or self sealing gasket. Directly down with firm pressure and hold it. We are looking for a spray of six to eight inches high that stays that way to indicate a good pump, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna test that for you right now. I'm gonna be your guinea pig. <laughs> Notice that spray did not shoot up and stay up six to eight inches high. The reason that it did not is because one of the very first things that we were able to identify, that flow indicator is failing. And we knew it because as soon as we turned it on, water started coming out of there before I even depressed it. So we have a little bit of an issue. Y'all saw the spray on the pump. That was pretty doggone good, but it's not gonna stay up there as long as the flow indicator is not solid in the machine. So, if it sprays up like that and stays up, you know your flow indicator's good and your pump's good, you need to replace the solenoid valve in the bottom of the machine and we have a video on our website for that.